You don't have a right to tell me I what fucking key binds are good and bad. at me, okay? I'm just saying. You're just, you're saying that because you got people in your chat saying it's weird. And you're seeing it yeah, and you're like... Oh. Your, your key bind, your, your lack of movement keys or your misplacement of the movement keys, I'll say, is equivalent to like peanut butter pizza. Oh, hey. I don't think you can handle a warrior, brother. Too much for you. You don't get no sprinting away on that. <laughs> My nickname? I just play a character in GTA RP on No Pixel. Um, and the character's name is Chad Brody. So it's just literally just a first and last name mixed together. <laughs> so people started calling me that shit in RP and I just fucking. Oh man, I don't think you're gonna be able to handle a, a warrior. Let it keep happening. That's a hard one. That's, one, that's the hardest thing to level in hardcore. That's the hardest thing to level in general. It's just gonna be really slow. Yeah. And I won't be able to hide from griefing very well. But then I just don't know Druid. Like, I know Warrior, right? But I don't know Druid at all. Well, Druid has more escape mechanisms than a Warrior does. Warrior also does more damage in cat form. Warrior does a lot of damage late game, but early game? Dookie. All right, well, I'm just going to do this while I wait for you then. It's like, uh, I, like I'd rather okay. do this and like, sit around and do nothing. I'm a, I'm a rogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really think there's much to do on them at the moment. You can get the 26 in a row, but I know you want to get like XP in there. I don't, yeah, I want to like, I don't want to be a completely useless run, but just for gear. Like 26, you're not getting shit, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah that's Damn, dude, I can't believe your rogue died. <laughs> so fucking stupid. Jabated. You get bear form at like level something, right, on Drew? Level 10, I think. 10. Level 10. 10 for bear, 24 like, uh, for cat. Well, it's like the way that Druid kills shit um, and feral. Uh, bear and cat. Yeah. So like you open up on bear or something like, or you open up as cat. You just and then maybe you'll stun cat. him on bear or something like that. Hit a charge on him or something like what's it? I don't understand. How cat, those, cat, those kill shit. Bear if you get a bunch of shit on. Like if you're a rogue, I'm just gonna fucking sit there and bear form, and you're gonna try to kill me, and I'm gonna laugh at you. <laughs> and I'm just gonna be smacking. Well, I, mean, I don't give a shit what to do in PvP, you big dummy. I care about PvE. Oh, what you am I care. doing in PvE? You care. <laughs> yeah, maybe when I do a druid on normal fucking wow. Uh, you just go cat form and treat it just like you're your rogue. Okay. And then like just like bear forms like shit happens or shit yeah, hits me. Yeah, you got a bunch of shit on you. Because the cat forms just like rogue, you use combo point, same thing. Bear is pretty much like a warrior. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do believe you, sir. Bootkin's like, like a fun class, but I guarantee it's I'll play this and like I'll think I have a grasp on things But then the moment will happen right and it'll be pure panic and I'll just my Knowledge of keybinds will be out the window, right? Well, listen, I'll tell you now the first, <laughs> until I learn a class. You know what I mean? The first like 10 levels on this character is Deceiving because you're gonna probably the the fun spec is feral. That's That's where you go if you want to have fun for the most part uh, but the yeah, first, I'm gonna go feral. The first ten fucking levels, you're We're casting be fucking away. wrath. Yeah, <laughs> it's just fucking terrible. So have fun with that. Uh, no, that's fine. I don't mind that shit. I mean, like, how am I gonna kill shit at level twenty and stuff? You know what I mean? Feral. Because I've tried a druid before, and I remember having that panic moment and being like, I don't know how to play druid, dude. Shit. I mean, you can go boomkin, I suppose, later on, but. Feral. I don't want to go boomkin though. That just kind of sounds boring to me. It is. It is boring. Yeah, it's extremely boring. Boomies will tell you otherwise, but they're wrong. And yeah, they're it. they're degenerates. Fucking weirdos. Only time there was a, a good time to play Boomkin was whenever it was best in slot for raids. Then I'm gonna have like key bindings that I will use the same key binding. So I have to like some key bindings I'll use for all three, like or all my shit on like the same bar, right? It kind of does that warrior bar swap. Right? Yeah, your bar will change when you switch stances, yes. Yeah, so I'll be able to utilize some of that and avoid it as well a mm -hmm. bit. Yeah, I mean, I just try to visually set up, like, my binds to kind of, like, land at the like moment. when fire. Yeah, the moment like, when your stance switches. Together with, like, a cat hit that's yeah. strong or something. Exactly, exactly. You'll, you'll figure out a, the sweet spot. Druid, though, yeah. when it comes to binds, is probably is, it's the most daunting, you know, when it comes to all the different spells you're going to have to learn and set a bind for and understand how to use. There's so much fucking utility, it's ridiculous. 
That's good though. I like the eight. Sounds fun. Super, super survivable, and you can escape from hella shit when, when you get travel. Yeah, I saw you escape. It was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> what level do you get travel form? Thirty, I think. That's gonna be that real shit. Okay. Might be 40. All my, you know what, my one, two, threes, and fours and shit like that. With Lord Melina's laid to rest. I can finally. That's gonna be. To Thank you. I think. Uh, my forms. So I'm pretty simple with mine. Sh shift B bear, shift C cat, shift G is like travel. Um, eh, whatever. Just you'll find the sweet spot for you. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna one two three four. Yeah, I mean you could do that, but that's what I use for my like my main attacks. One two three four. Yeah, yeah, that's where my kind of uh, lack of normal keybinds comes in a bit for me, so I'll take it. My one two three four is usually just for cooldown. So just on my warrior, my one two three is my battle stance, my defensive, and my Damn. berserker stance. Yeah, yeah, that's wild. I mean, you you probably are using like you said, like A and D or Q and E or some shit. Uh, I mean, I'm using mouse wheel up, mouse wheel down, ma shift mouse wheel up, shift mouse wheel down. What is mouse click? What? Mouse three. You don't use mouse wheel up and down. To on your, control key, my your mouse? camera. <laughs> uh, I mean, I use control mouse wheel up and down for controlling my camera. And then, yeah. What the fuck? You want some crazy shit? Why, dude? It's so good. I don't even like touching that I was even that thinking about button. making all. I was even thinking about making all shift uh, up, you know, and down before like uh, my camera and leaving control for key like legit keybinds. So, uh, dude, it's so good. That's four keybinds that are the most fluid keybinds you'll ever press. That's all I hear. Man, I used to I, my mouse wheel down used to throw grenades in Halo. Damn. On, on Halo, dude, it's so good, man. Yeah, I can't believe you're missing out. You don't use A and D. You don't have a right to tell me what don't fucking even keybinds come are good and bad. At me, okay? I'm just saying. You're just you're saying that because you got people in your chat saying it's weird, and you're seeing it. Yeah, and you're like your your keybind, your your lack of movement keys or your misplacement of the movement keys. I'll say is equivalent to like peanut butter pizza. A six two six. I use Q and E instead of A and D. My man. But you don't use A and D for anything. That is not true. I told you I was trying to justify, but you were shouting at me. Uh, at the okay, time. tell me, tell me, tell me, then tell me. I that. didn't have enough binds yet for my fucking. I didn't have enough abilities unlocked to bind, to set those binds yet. I was not. Really, I I unbind S. I don't backpedal and wow. I I set that to an interrupt usually. You unbind S. But yes. bro, backpedaling, it's like, okay, I know that people think backpedaling is some noob shit, but in it hardcore, is. It is. it's not, it's really not. Cause there's been multiple times where it's like, I've had to minutely move my character in between mobs, you kind of like while I'm fighting and backpedaling is very, very your, useful for it. With your strafes and your mouse control. Yeah, but not as like minute like bro. It's, it's, it's your, you're leaving yourself more difficult of a, a task there. Maybe I don't know. I'm used to it, dude. I'm just. I'm, if you're I'm tanking, in. without a doubt, it's so useful too. Oh, dude, I'm just saying, dude. You, if you want to face your target bro, at all like, times, it's like going like that instead of just being like this while I'm looking around. You know what I mean? Like, bro. Oh, you're crazy. You're crazy. I know people hate on it, but bro, backpedaling is so fucking useful. Um, and I love PvP, bro. I don't backpedal in PvP and shit, but I'm, in PVE, bro, I I feel like it should be acceptable. People shouldn't look at you backpedaling in PvP and PVE and being like you're you're bad. Unless you're a fucking hunter backpedaling from A to B, you know what I mean? Shit like that. I get it. I mean, but there are very there are a lot of instances where it's good. Is, is all I'm saying. I will. Okay. I mean, look. If you, if you can make it work and not die, that's what it matters. You know, at the end of the day, if, are you dying? Yes. No. If not, then hey, can't really hate on it. But a lot of people nah, will say tripping, backpedaling is dookie. Nah, those people are tripping, dude. I'm telling you, PVE. <laughs> these are high nah, man, I'm the graders. These are these are I don't my give boys. a shit. You're telling me like you're gonna hit a strafe like this while you're attacking. It's like I can backpedal, turn around, look around. My guy will keep attacking every single hit, and I can do it with minute adjustments. If I find myself in a tight spot, it's not like I'm backpedaling every single fight. But you find yourself in a tight spot. I'm saying backpedaling is it can be extremely useful. Listen, you can turn your camera around 180 degrees and just click your Bro, right mouse try, try, once. <laughs> try looking around while you're strafing just minutely. Your character will have a problem attacking while you're trying to get information around you, while you're overcomplicating a simple thing that is just this. <laughs> I mean, this is a this is a uh, quite the old debate in World of Warcraft, so I mean... 
Man, we're not, we're PD, not gonna I don't be coming to a conclusion on this because there are definitely so many so many people that would go to each other's throat about this exact topic. Been arguing if about you this can't understand the usefulness of the backpedal, then you're tripping, dude. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You can you can say, hey, it's not it's not good in PvP, right? Yada yada yada. But if you can't see its somewhat usefulness in PvE, if you find yourself in specific situations, tight corners, shit like that, I can't help you. You're not that good of a wild player. I'ma say it. I'ma say it. I can't help you, dude. You're dog I'm shit. A fucking really You're good dog shit. <laughs> Unless some good wild player comes out and says it, I which I understand they I'll say it. I don't think you're good anyways. Peekaboo's better than you. Peekaboo's better than me, yeah. That's true, but uh, listen. You can say that me. there are other alternatives, but if you're not going to acknowledge that the back pedal can be useful in very specific situations to stay alive and it. not get aggro, then you suck. Then you're bad. No, I That's don't all I'm need saying. It. I just don't need it. It's not everybody needs it. I can avoid death without a back pedal. <laughs> don't you need like back pedaling for tanking though? I'm not saying you have to use it to be good. I'm saying it absolutely can be useful and shouldn't just be shunned because, oh, it's not. It doesn't look good. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I'm trust, bro. It's so nice being able to hold left click while your guy's auto attacking something. And like, if there's like a mob maybe moving up or like maybe you're you're a little too close to something, you can kind of just hit a couple adjustments. Listen, your guy's attacking the whole time. It's super, super do useful. Do you have the immortal title? Do you have the black proto drake? <laughs> Thank you. Listen, Thank I you. don't want to hear any of these. I do. World Warcraft I have it. Okay. I do. Listen, also, all, listen, these pro World of Warcraft players, dudes. Have they been dying in hardcore or not? I'm champion of the Nauru, bro. <sighs> What'd you say, Judd? I'm champion of the Nauru. You're champion of the Nauru now? Yeah, on my wild You think a kill. druid can take on Hogger at level 12? Yeah, easily. Just uh, just, just uh, take a roots him and then moon, and moon strike him or whatever. Moon fuck him until he's dead. Okay. And then when he runs up on you, entangling roots him again. And then when he gets like, we can't have bear form or cat form. If we can't do cat bear form. Did you fuck say him up. moon fuck him? Yeah, moon fuck him. That's what I heard. Okay. Champion of the Nairu doesn't mean shit. That guy doesn't have champion of the Nairu. He's jealous. Yo, I got a pro strat for you. Ready for your druid and kill a hogger? You can do it at 10, okay? You ready for this? Or 9. Entangling root what? item? Alright. You can kill a hogger at 9 when you druid. Really? Yeah, so entangling root item to the guard across the path. Boom, boom. Oh! You have to do a certain amount of damage to him to be able to get the... Yeah, but, but you know, you're entangling or rooting him, you're moon fucking him. By the time he gets there, you'll be good. Maybe. Not if you're missing and resisting and shit. He's 11. How are you going to... He's going to risk you at night. He's still going to be yellow. He's definitely has a high chance to do that as a... No, he two doesn't. level above you elite, yes? No, you'll be fine, dude. <laughs> okay. Why do you why do you overestimate Hogger? No, I just think about all the possible things that could go wrong. That's all I'm doing. Uh, pussy talk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Calm down, perpetual fucking fourteen. <laughs> you know what happens whenever you entangle root him and, and he resists? You entangle root him again. I know it's crazy. What would you say? If you go to entangle and root something and it resists, yeah. you just entangle and root it again. Uh, it's like insane, I know. Yeah, it's a really good. It's like polymorph, right? Yeah, just just hold them there. Just stupid ass there. These these dudes think that back not backpedaling means that you're turning your back to PVEs. That's fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> you can you don't have to. You can strafe and still face your target. And not you can't, but like especially the as a fuck? tank, back backpedaling makes tanking easy because you can you can attack straight it's, ahead. It's, it's, it's necessary tanking. Up. It's necessary yeah. tanking. Yeah. You slapping that motherfucker while you're backing up to get it in the right spot to maintain aggro on it. You hit, you continue, you do it at, at the way I explain it for the same reason. When do I get moonfire? Early, like four or six, something like that. It's moonfuck.